TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability Unlike some programming languages you may have heard of, writing programs or coding in Sense doesn't require you to do much typing. Instead, you create a program's code by building it up from graphical programming blocks like this. A programming block represents an instruction. In creating your first program, you'll put together some of these blocks to build the code for a sprite. The blocks are arranged into 10 palettes, accessed through 10 coloured palette buttons. If you click on a palette button, you'll see that the button changes colour and a set or palette of matching coloured blocks appears directly below the palette buttons. Each palette contains a collection of sense blocks with a common theme. If the stage is selected, then not all the blocks are available. For example, the motion palette is blank. So all the blocks concerned with moving objects on the screen are in the motion palette, and all those that control sound are in the sound palette, and so on. Now have a look for yourself at the palettes and blocks available in Sense, and don't forget to make use of the pause button or rewind any parts of the video that aren't clear on first viewing. Now we're going to build a short program to display and move the pointer sprite on the stage. In Sense, each program is housed in a project. Launch Sense by double-clicking on its icon on your desktop. When it opens, click on the Open button near the top left of its window. The Open Project window will then appear. By default, it opens with the Projects folder showing. This contains a number of subfolders. Locate the Sense Programming Guide folder and double-click on it to open the folder. Now go to the Session 1 subfolder and find the project SPG underscore project underscore zero one. Click once on the project to select it, then choose OK. And immediately resave it as project underscore zero one underscore SOL by clicking on the Save As button towards the top left of the Sense window. Now you'll be working with the new project with the new name, which is a copy of the original project. This is a good practice to get into, as it ensures that if anything goes wrong with your program, you can always go back to the original program at any time. Make sure that the pointer icon is selected in the bottom right pane by clicking on it if necessary. Click on the control palette button you can now see all the blocks responsible for starting and stopping a program, as well as those responsible for repeating actions and a few more. Click and hold down your left mouse button on the topmost block shown here. This is referred to as the green flag block, and it's an example of a hat block, that is, one that can only be positioned above other blocks. Sense has a number of hat blocks, some of which you'll use in later programs. So we're going to drag the block into the scripting pane and drop it by letting go of the mouse button. You've now copied the block from the palette into the scripting pane. The first thing your program should do is make the pointer sprite, that is its costume, appear on the stage. Click on the looks palette button to reveal the looks palette. The purple blocks here control the appearance of sprites on the stage. Choose the show block. Drag this block into the scripting pane and move it up underneath the green flag block. A white line appears directly underneath the green flag block and this tells you that the new block can fit into this position. Let go of the mouse button and the show block will snap onto the underside of the green flag block. Now run your program by clicking on this button at the top of the sense window a red arrow should appear in the middle of the stage. Next, your program will move the pointer sprite. Click on the motion palette button. The blue blocks here control the movement of sprites. Locate this block and drag it into the scripting pane and attach it to the bottom of your set of blocks. This block has an input box inside it. That's the white area. You can type any number into this input box but for now the default input value of 10 is fine. So now your set of blocks looks like this. Now run your program by clicking on the run button. The red arrow on the stage will move 10 steps to the right each time the run button is pressed. 
click on the 10 that is in the input value in your move block and the number will be highlighted. Now you can enter any number you choose. Try 50 for example. Then press the enter key on your keyboard or click outside the input box to confirm the change. Now rerun your program. How about trying a negative number such as minus 30? Then run the program again. Can you see what happens? Try entering some alphabetic characters into the input box. Can you see what happens or rather doesn't happen? Finally, save your project by clicking on the save button towards the top left of the sense window. And that's your first program in sense. See you for more programming in the next video.